the Human Body Systems project and specifically the computer science component where we are going to be creating a menu and the backgrounds for all of the diff where all of the different uh, projects will get stored. Now this is different from the button creation. If you're watching this video looking how to make a button, it's not going to be on here. This is just how do you make your menu and associate your various backgrounds. There are a couple things needed prior to coding. First of all, you need to decide whether you want a picture for your menu or just a plain background. What I mean is this, if you take a look at my project, I do actually have a picture for my menu. I've got this design that I found. You can decide whether you want that or if you just want a plain background. That's your call. Okay. The second thing that you need to do is decide whether you want a picture for the quiz and the diagram background or just a plain background. Like going back to my example, on my diagram uh, background, it's just plain. Okay, I just have a plain background with diagram, and also for quiz, I actually just have a plain background and welcome to the quiz. You just have to decide. I mean, you've got a lot of different ideas that you could choose from there, and you just need to decide what you want to do. That being said, let's go ahead and start coding our project. So I'll go ahead and click Create. And this project, it's going to be a brand new one. I'm going to get rid of Scratchy. This one is going to be where all of the all of the code gets uh, put into one place. So this is, in a sense, your final place for all of your code. Because of that, I will put the actual system uh, name here. So I'll put respiratory system final. Okay. So I'll put that as my title uh, for my slides. So again, my body system and then the title. Now. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the menu. So what I can do is click on the Backdrops tab. And like I said, you decide whether you want a plain background or a picture. I'll show you either way what you're going to do. If you want a picture, you already know to just fill it with uh, a color from down at the bottom and then just add Menu. Okay, if you wanted to have that and then remember scratch is very unforgiving if you click out so I'm gonna leave that right up top and this is where all of my buttons will go that's one choice either way I'm going to save that as menu okay now what if you want a picture for it well if you want a picture for it then what you're gonna do in that case is you're gonna upload your picture so I've got a, a file uploaded and that's going to be called menu. So I'm going to go with this one instead of this. So I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to first resize my image. And I'm going to use the select icon to resize the image. Go ahead and drag a box around it. And then resize the image. So I've got a nice menu. And then again, I want to make sure that this is called menu capital M-E-N-U, and you're going to see why that's a big deal later. Okay, So now I've got my menu created, and now what I want to do is go ahead and uh, create my backgrounds for my diagram and quiz. Okay, Now let me go ahead and just paint a new backdrop, and this one for diagram, I'm just going to have diagram written out. Okay, I don't want to actually find a picture of it. Diagram. And I'll just go ahead and put that in there. Diagram. Okay, and then I'll make it larger. Now here's the thing. When you upload your partner's diagram, it might cover this sign right here. And that's okay. You just need to know that you may need to get rid of this or you may need to add a, a change the backdrop. Uh, backdrop so that it doesn't say diagram. Again, if the diagram is going to cover it. Either way, make sure that you've changed this to capital D-I-A-G-R-A-M. It is very important that you don't misspell these things because all the code is going to be linked to these titles. Okay, So I've got menu, I've got diagram, and the last thing that I want to do is create um, a background for the quiz. I actually want to use a uh, an actual image for my quiz background so I'm actually going to use uh, this desktop image because I like the fact that on a desk on a, I'm taking a quiz on a desktop um, 
and not a desktop computer, but actually like an actual desktop. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, I know that my I can cover this with my uh, I'm I'm fine with leaving this right here. If you can find other images without that, that's fine. But either way, I'm just showing you that I'm creating this now. Again, make sure that you've spelled capital D E S K. D-E-S-K-T-O-P. No space in between desk and top. Uh, actually, we're going to change this to, sorry, quiz. My mistake. Not desktop. I want to make sure that this is actually changed to quiz. Now, at this point, I've got my menu, I've got my diagram, and I've got my quiz. And they're all labeled correctly. You might be wondering, wait, what about fun facts? And what about the interactive scene? Well, you don't have to make a background for those because fun facts already will have a background and interactive scene already will have a background. So you don't have to worry about adding those pieces in. At this point, you're done. You've created your respiratory system final. Um, if you'd like to, you can add your partner's names in the menu somewhere over here just so that everyone knows who was working on it. That's optional up to you. We know that uh, we've got our diagram and our quiz background ready and you're good to go.